Kicks lead vocalist Steve Whiteman is looking forward to retirement. This is the Rock and Roll with the Man. My name is Sean Morrison. At the M3 Festival, early, early this month of May of 2023, Kicks announced um, their retirement, which means they're not going to be performing live anymore. And honestly, does that mean not recording new music? Honestly, that was never said, but they won't be doing live shows anymore, etc. And um, Steve Whiteman says he's looking forward to retire because he's like, I believe he said he was 67 and his wife's about to retire as well. And it's just time, he said. And I don't blame him. In a way, I don't blame him because the way they're doing their live performances, where they're flying out, where there's one-off shows, where, where it's like you, you play one show and I think... He was saying you might have a show three days after that or so, depending upon what's scheduled for them. I am, honestly, I haven't really followed around Kix's tour schedule in a long time, but I do notice when they're advertised to perform here and there in in certain markets. And yes, they're very popular on the East Coast in this area of New York City, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, if you know what I mean. If you're not subscribed to the show, Morris, and YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there subscribed. We thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. Sean Morrison Enterprise is the place to go if you'd like to make a small donation to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel. And of course, their drummer is almost um, suffered a fatal, a fatal heart attack at a performance that they did at the Tally Ho Theater. But thank God um, he survived it and all. While he was performing, you know, thank God it was not fatal, and and hopefully he will be making an appearance at the, at the final kiss. I mean, at the final kicks farewell show, which is coming in September of 2021, which is happening in um Virginia. So this interview was posted on Labbermouth.net. You know, that's to the point where it's like, you know, you're at that age and you're out there still doing doing these shows, and I'll be dead honest, who knows how much money they're actually making, because it wasn't like they're, they're a big name band like Kiss or Bon Jovi, where you know, they make more more tons of money and everything, and sometimes some of these um, fly-out shows they do, or sometimes um, you know, festival appearances here and there, and it's not really worth it, especially um, when, you put, when you're pushing your late 60s and all. So, definitely wish Steve Whiteman of Kicks as well as the rest of the guys in Kicks a um, happy retirement and all. Hopefully they do not um, rule out recording new music. Will they ever perform a live show again? You can never say never. So far, Twister Sister has kept their word. Out of all these bands that have been announcing retirements, they've kept their word that they're not getting back together again. They're all good friends and all. The only time they performed was getting inducted into the um, California Heavy Metal Hall of Fame. I mean, I I was just thinking, would Kicks just perform in their home state or something here and there? Like what Donny Iris does when he performs in Ohio and parts of Pennsylvania. Those are the only dates he's been doing for God knows how many years. And, you know, he's pushing 80, so who knows? But, like I said... Didn't mean to um, babble too much and bring in a couple of other topics of kicks into this, but definitely I'm um, wishing um, Steve Whiteman a um, happy um, retirement. A few years back, he released a solo album, which was which was pretty good. There you go. Kicks retiring in September 2023, definitely well deserved. Shame, shame, shame. 